Virgo. Welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Karma. I hope that you guys are doing well this new year so far, and I'm so grateful that you clicked on this video. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. If at any time, Virgo, you resonate with this reading, go ahead and hit that like button. Cross watchers, you are more than welcome to stay. You may find that you need to move the, the energy around. Uh, but remember, take what resonates and leave what doesn't for another viewer. This is a collective reading for a large collective. All right, beautiful Virgo. Let's go ahead and get into your reading and see what messages the Holy Spirit has for you at this time. Love. Okay, interesting, because I was going to say that I really feel a sense of peace coming towards you or surrounding you at this time and it says i commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things i feel like this really um, goes hand in hand with what you've been experiencing lately maybe your challenge has been still seeing the good in all situations and and you you may have reached a pinnacle um, on your spiritual journey on your healing journey here where you're now committed to making sure that you find the silver lining almost for it's almost like for your sanity you're like i won't be able to get it through or make it through this again if i don't if i don't find a way to find the good yeah fear there it is i realize that i am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love i can't i mean this is what i just said that's exactly what it is Okay, I, I, I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love with fear. So you're, you're overcoming your fears now. And look at how the colors are almost like inside out. You know, you got the same colors here, red and purple, which is about root chakra and crown chakra. Very, very beautiful here. Very, very beautiful. Coming out of a fear-based mindset here for some of you. And then you have denial. Yeah, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. So that's exactly what's happening here. You've probably been going through a lot of situations that, that trigger your fear, okay? Or that make you experience some type of um, maybe even feeling unworthy, feeling less than, or maybe you've been in denial. I just feel like this is such a higher level of self-awareness that's being shown here. Let's see. Give me one, please, on fear and denial. What is this about for Virgo? What is this fear and denial in regards to for Virgo? Yeah, what have you been holding on to? There is, a, uh, there is something here that you've been holding on to that's been keeping you stuck. Well, I mean, it's just any type of fear, but it says um, preservation, collection, and meanness. Some of you, I mean, dang, maybe you were checking your attitude in certain situations and how you, you saw something to help you release, even something to do with your family or your living arrangement, because there seems to be some type of paranormal disturbance that is creating you to hesitate on making certain moves when it comes to your home life, your bonds, your relationships, okay? This could also be something from your background, your childhood, like where this fear came in and you've been carrying this perception around with you for so long and it's time to release it. Give me one on love and fear, please, for Virgo. Ooh, you got two of them stress and promise with pride yeah there's something here with ego that's been getting in the way of, of um, possibly some type of partnership that was made where you have a lot of stress or anxiety over your responsibilities like you may need some type of reassurance from somebody or you've been seeking reassurance on the outside instead of within or with the most high I feel like this is you making a promise to yourself, though, Virgo. Some of you could be dealing with a lot of migraines lately. I don't know where that just came from. Show me, please, for Virgo, Holy Spirit, Spirit guides and angels. Thank you. 
simply love. Okay, that's your first card out. There's a lot to do with children, family. Yeah, take the lead. You're shifting something within your home life and your lineage here. There it is, rebuild. Wow. Okay. Detach. And dedicated effort. Yeah, you're very dedicated to making this change here. Um, to making sure that you're not repeating. I told you it has something to do with your root chakra. To make sure that you're not repeating cycles. I feel like you're embracing the lessons and, and, and allowing yourself to close them out. Yeah, to reach this joy and stability. Yeah, find balance, clarity, or belief. Spread your wings. You're, you're in the process of expanding. And that's not easy, right? Expansion is not easy. It's definitely not. Let's use this deck here and see what we can get. I think sometimes you get frustrated because you may feel like it's all falling on your shoulders. Clarify simply low. You have the chariot. There could be some type of family trip that you're on or thinking about taking here with the chariot and simply love. Um, but I, I do really feel like this has a lot to do with your, with your willpower, I'll say. Okay. Um, I don't know why I'm getting the sense that you're going to need to defend yourself here in a situation. Gosh, so much about love and compromise and working together on, on something here. Yeah, you're definitely on the go, moving somewhere, trying to get away from um, well, I don't want to say get away from difficult situations, but what spirit is showing me is like an unraveling of energy trailing behind you as you move forward, like leaving all of the past traumas, right? And you're really pushing yourself into a, like a new way of being. And, and maybe it's this trip, Virgo, or I don't know what it is, but this is something that is that you're, you're making the choice and, and, and you're moving in a new direction to create more joy, peace, and love in your life. Yeah, readiness with the number 44. This is something that you're ready for, that you've been preparing for. There it is, self-love. I feel as though I'm connecting with a Virgo that is like you're really aligning with you and recognizing that you don't have to look for love as it's all around you at all times. You're gaining a, a stronger sense of self-worth and independence here. Okay, there's still something that's being hidden. Something to do with regret and remorse or some type of sadness here. Need more info hiding something. Proposal or engagement is coming. All right, so there's some type of opportunity and offer that's coming towards you that you're seemingly not aware of, but I do feel like spirit just kind of wants you to see the whole situation from a place of love, no matter, no matter what decision you come to, right? Because I see where this promise is coming, even up there. What is take the lead for Virgo, please? Give me one on take the lead. The Ten of Wands. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah, something about traveling here for sure. Some of you are traveling, but um, you have a decision to make. Be careful that you don't take on too much with this Ten of Wands. Like you, you like to be in charge. You like to take the lead, but you may overwork yourself here. And so Spirit is, is asking you to kind of make sure 
that you don't put too many tasks on your plate. Yeah, that could be a karmic lesson or cycle for you because you could be overworked, overwhelmed. And it, it stems from you feeling like other people can't get the job done as good as you can, right? And we all feel that way, but there's, there's that compromise that comes in to make your life easier where, you know, sometimes it's not going to be done perfectly. And I know I'm a Taurus, so I'm like, well, it has to be done a certain way. So I really shouldn't be talking. But <laughs> if my mother was a Virgo, and I understand. So it is definitely something that um, you need to work on to create more balance in your life. Don't overburden yourself here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Spear saying, this is, this is a warning to you. Danger. All right? Caution, accident. Um, an injury. See, there's something about maybe taking the advice of others too on the bottom, allowing someone else to kind of lead the way because you had coach on the bottom. I feel like this is about laying something down too with the Lord, not letting this burden stay with you. Yeah, be careful because you don't want to get sick. There's something here where you're going to overwork yourself and Spirit's giving you a heads up because it's going to cause you to become weaker. You may need to step up and take the lead as well in a situation, but again, make sure that you're delegating responsibilities properly. Okay. You have write down your visions and manifest and gut feeling, listen to your intuition. You have a soulmate that's coming into your life here. And I feel like you could be very heartbroken, Virgo, over something to do with children. Okay, however that resonates. Could even be your inner child. Could have to do with support, child support or custody. Could have to do with wanting children. You could be doing something with your children or your parents. What is rebuild for Virgo, please? Why is rebuild here? The nine of swords, nightmares, insomnia, anxiety. Wow. I think you're in the process of rebuilding yourself to prepare yourself for what is to come because you have a two of cups energy here that's under judgment. Okay, so some type of relationship. But you may feel trapped or stuck in a cycle or a pattern of love that isn't conducive. And you're wanting to see some type of growth. You're wanting to see some type of change because there still seems to be, yeah, that's what this fear is about and this denial. This is what's going to help you get to your Ten of Cups is you're in the process of going through a major transformation when it comes to your perception and view on love and how you receive and how you give. And I feel like somehow your family is tied into this as well. Mm -hmm. Reservation. Like you may have a fear of loving right now because of what you've been through. And it, it's affecting your worth. But you're in the process of rebuilding that temple mm -hmm. with justice. Yeah. Creating balance. This is karmic justice. The numbers 11 and 29 are here. 10, 2. You have 11 twice. The year 63 and 72 are here imagination you have a vision of what you want you are going to succeed at that vision but i i want you to know there's somebody in your friend group there's somebody here who is wearing a mask okay you don't see it but you need to be aware of it and you need to be careful remain calm i don't know what this is in regards to but i see you maybe wanting to end that cycle wanting to end that cycle with that person. There it is. So there is somebody around you who is jealous of whatever it is that you're doing for work or they want to steal your idea. I don't know what it is, but they are, they're jealous. Could be a Scorpio. Okay, but there's a transformation that's taking place. And see, I also think this could be somebody who's just jealous of your growth and your transformation. 
is, you know, really what it comes down to. You got a lot going on here. So I would be careful. You may feel like you need to rebuild something that has to do with your job or your work. Keep some of your ideas to yourself so this sneaky person doesn't get involved. Tell me about this detached. Yeah, you're going to need to remove yourself from a situation here. Five of Pentacles. I'm telling you, somebody here has a lack state of mind and is going to, it's like it's trying to infiltrate into your, into your energetic field. I don't feel, I, I think you might just catch little glimpse of this energy and sometimes you feel down because there's a real focus here on like hardship and poverty and, and like some type of scandal. And Spears like detach yourself because you're not supposed to be there. You're not supposed to be involved in that. It's, it's going to take a lot of hard work for you to remove yourself. I feel like somebody betrayed you and that's the scandal. Yeah, it could have been in a love. Okay. See, you have the victory, Virgo. Tell me about this, please. Five of Pentacles. Okay, in reverse. Wow. So something is out of balance or your stability. You need to pay attention to your energy and how you feel when you're connected to this person. Like, are you taking losses since this whoever this person is is around you or knowing what you're doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's somebody that you're working with. Okay, it's somebody that you are working with and they're going to try to bribe you or persuade you to do something that you shouldn't do. And it's, I feel like this is another little test, another little spiritual test coming back around similar to previous tests, right? Cause we always get the same test until we complete it. And how do we complete it? By doing something different than we did the last time. And that's why you have dedicated effort because you're in the process of rebuilding. So you, this is about checking your responses, the way you react to a situation, how you handle it, how you perceive it here. Yeah, you have a brand new beginning. Ooh. You saw that? There it is. It has to do with your foundation and your stability, your root chakra. You could be currently doing some type of um, silent treatment or not communicating with this person. Holy Spirit reminding you to let go and let God take control. Whoever this person is, whether you're talking or not, they think about you a lot. Clear about these dedicated effort. Yeah, you have a lot on your plate, two of pentacles. You're juggling a lot, but you're very, very dedicated to keeping the balance. Your priorities are straight. Here you are, the sun and the hermit. A lot of clarity, a lot of truth, new realizations about self. These are divine um, revelations that are coming to you. And you may be very isolated from other people or isolated from your, well, what should I, how should I say that? Like, I don't know why I feel like you're isolated from your crowd or your group of friends, but it's kind of something that you're, you're doing on purpose in a sense that you want to pull back because you're trying, trying to regain balance or clarity on a situation here. It's helping you to prepare to spread your wings and fly. Clarify here, dedicated effort. Oh my gosh, you guys. I almost just started screaming in your reading because it literally felt like something was crawling on my head and it was my own hair because it's in a bun. But you're, let me, I don't know, maybe that's for someone else. Maybe you had a bug crawling on you. Ooh, Lord. And I'm not typically afraid of bugs, but this one felt like it was going to be a big tarantula, big tarantula or something. Yeah, you have a goal. You have a destination. Okay, so I see you very, very focused at completing this here. The number 26 may be important to you. You are going to come out of this. It's just a process. See, there's a blessing coming to you. Good for you. I, this is actually a nice reading. It's, it's, it's a calm reading. 
And I feel like that's a testament to the growth that you're experiencing, Virgo, because your energy right now just feels really at peace and you are allowing the most high um, to take control because you want to experience this shift. You want to experience this, this change. Yeah, there's something here within your close friends, okay? I can't make this up. Betrayal. Judas is near, okay? So if something is affecting your self-worth, really look at that. I feel like somebody's trying to downplay how talented you are. Pay attention to your dreams, okay? Something is coming to you and twice you have detachment. You're going to have to release yourself and detach yourself from certain connections that, you know, they just, they've already served a purpose is really what it comes down to. All right? Closing messages, please, for Virgo. Dehanama release pain in the physical body when the body is in pain most often we want the pain to stop so we can get back to our lives even though pain is our body's way of communicating a problem that needs attention there can be urgency or a dismissive quality to our thoughts and feelings some healers will advise us to go into the pain to try to understand what our body is telling us others advise us to discover what eases the issue to work directly with that Dehanama meets us somewhere in the middle. Sometimes it is useful to become conscious of the story behind the pain. Other times it is not. Engaging with this symbol's energy allows needed information to come to light in a way that is best for you and helps to release your physical discomfort. All right, Virgo. So yeah, you're transitioning. This is the image to meditate on. Um, you're in the process of transitioning. There's a big change coming for you. I feel like this definitely ties into what we were talking about and releasing fears. All right, Virgo, I send you guys much love and I thank you so much for your continued support and I look forward to seeing you next week.